hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl precious and i'm back again with another video and i'm here to rant about how i feel that i'll be soon graduating as an online doctor as they call so stay around and yeah understand what i'm talking about you understand what i'm talking about so if it's your first time here please 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 subscribe join the farm we are on the road to 500 uh, 500 subscribers so we are doing everything to get there and if it's you're a returning subscriber please welcome back and please watch this video till the end please 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 like this video it really helps with the youtube algorithm so <laughs> this morning you just know when i come and i say i'm coming to rant that means i've been really deeply thinking about things so this morning and actually just the past few months like it pops up up and again but i don't like thinking about it but i've just been thinking about how i feel that next year i'll be graduating and as most people have been you know making memes and like people have been talking about it. in covid struck it doesn't was very famous like talking about how it would be online doctors online engineers and online i don't know whatever course you're doing online so um ah guys it's it's been a journey i basically started my online classes 2020 um march i had done three of my years on campus and then when and my third year was actually one of the toughest years for me in my preclinical years and when i finally came home i took it as when covid struck i took it as an opportunity to come and rest like because i just felt i needed to come home not knowing that that was the beginning that i would never go back and i would start having my online classes and in the beginning i was very hopeful like i was very hopeful china open borders will go back and all that stuff but i soon discovered that wasn't true and i had to start adjusting to being home and i remember for me one of the things that really helped me because i lived with so i think i've talked about this before that i lived with so much anxiety like when covid just started like how are things going to be and all that stuff so for me to really settle down one of the things that i had started doing was I just decided to like accept that okay I'm going to be doing online classes now what am I going to do to better myself so that by the time I graduate I am not completely blank of what I'm supposed to be doing because medicine is one of the most practical courses like most of it is supposed to be especially your final years you're supposed to have a lot of practical um, classes and now online classes you find that especially in China like they have like my other classmates I have six classmates who stayed back they have so many practical classes and some of the sometimes I won't lie I feel bad I'm just like okay so they get to get all the you know the on the dummies and they get to before they actually practice on patients but then there's me who because of doing online classes i've had to go to the hospital and do these things straight on a human being without even actually doing it on a dummy or or on a on cadavers fist so that has that actually just describes my medical journey um being online one of the first things that i would actually like say how i feel about it it's been scary when i think about it in depth i'm like okay so i'm graduating um i've done half of my course basically online like how how really is this going to be and there are so many times i've had to like navigate and just tell myself like encourage myself and say look do everything in your power that you can to have the knowledge that you need that when you get when you finally are on the field and working in a hospital like the difference should win shouldn't be too much and most of my friends like a lot of the people i have like a lot of people who we started this journey with together in first year most of them because of this whole online thing have ended up changing schools or doing other things or dropping out but because of many circumstances i found that i've had to continue with china and that has forced me to have to find my feet and encourage myself like no matter how tough it gets so if i mostly do these videos guys so that someone can relate like if you're going through this and you feel like you're alone you know that you're not alone <laughs> well many of us if we are if we are also doing online classes i know that it's not the end like just because we have been doing online classes for all this time like this is not the end like we can still put in the effort it will take a lot of working hard it will take in a lot of effort but at the end of the day it is possible and i totally believe that like even though sometimes i've got my moments where i i stop i pause i think and i'm like i'm really doing this like i'm doing this online class this thing but then i come to tell myself like work hard like you have to put in double the effort as many as others and that's for for me that's one of the basically the reasons why i decided to go and do um of course my my school requested me like our schools 
my school basically told us all of us who were at home because majority of us in my class were like 50 something and only six remained so that shows that majority came back home and of course the school encouraged us to go to the hospital for many of the lessons which they in China are going to the hospital. But still, for me, going to the hospital didn't just come from the school telling us. But where I knew, I was like, so my only classes are going to reach here. I have to meet somewhere halfway, if not even do three quarters, so that I'm able to graduate as a doctor who actually, you know, knows what they are doing. So it hasn't been easy. I'm going to say that. I'm going to say that it hasn't been easy. But it it's definitely is something which is possible like i totally believe that if we do this like we encourage ourselves we work hard i totally believe that this is going to be possible one of the things that actually has not made it even easier is when i go to the hospital and you know the doctors who you are working with will always ask like which hospital are you from i mean which, which university are you from which school are you from and when you explain your situation like i've been doing online classes they'll be like what like why don't you just transfer or this and that or are you sure like there's always someone who's going to have their opinion. That's one thing I've really learned. Like, there's always someone who's going to have their opinion of how you doing online classes is not good for you or this or that. And I'm not saying their opinion is irrelevant. But one thing that I'm saying is that I've learned to, like, know where I am. Like, okay, this is the this is where I found myself. This is what actually is going on. So I'm going to work hard. And that's one thing that has really encouraged me. Another thing that has really encouraged me is trusting God. I know at this point, maybe some of you are like, precious, really? But that, that really is true. Like, one of the things that has really kept me is God's promises and I always um always knowing that no matter how tough it may feel uh, it may get some no matter how hard it may be sometimes seeing most of my friends like change to other schools others even like drop out but one of the things that has really really encouraged me is just trusting God and knowing that no matter how um sometimes this journey may feel like I'm alone and all that no matter how lonely it may feel sometimes what has really really helped me is just trusting god and knowing that god is with me like god is for me and that's one thing i'd really encourage you so if you are a student who's been doing online classes and you've been doing it for two years and sometimes it just gets frustrating and maybe it's difficult like you're not able to have the option of transferring or maybe you are not even i think others may not even have the opportunity to go to the hospital i just want to encourage you like really work hard and do as much as you can to get clinical practice like find yourself in a hospital and at the end of this i feel like we will give ourselves a pat on the back <laughs> because it, of course it's not an easy journey but it is possible so and yeah with god by our side the bible says everything that, like whatever seems impossible with man is possible with god so even this is possible with god but anyway i just want to say thank you for watching this video i hope you got some encouragement i hope you've um by the time you've ended watching this video you don't feel like you're alone and yeah i hope to see you guys in my next video please don't forget to like please don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye